Hey guys, welcome back to the last video of HTML5 video programming series. As I promised earlier, I will be teaching you how to create your own video.js plugin. Uh, without wasting much time on talking, let's write some real code. Okay, this is where we left on the last video. We just integrated all these plugins. Let's take uh, this zoom rotate, uh, zoom rotate plugin for instance. Uh, this plugin allows us to perform both uh, zoom and rotate operation, right? For this lesson, let's focus on rotate operation alone. No end user will be happy if you ask them to code whenever they want to rotate the video, right? Besides, user don't want their video to, to, to be set at some random rotation value by default. So we can't fix it with some constant value either. So what are we going to do is, uh, we are going to write a plugin on top of this uh, zoom rotate, uh, which allows user to rotate their video whenever they want. Basically, it's not a standalone plugin, but you can even write complete standalone plugin, which means without depending on anything else. All I'm doing here is giving you the basic idea. Okay, let's create a new JS file, rotate.js. I'm going to save this under plugins js directory right and don't forget to include that that's a very important part sorry script let's set the source as plugins sorry js rotate.js okay that's fine now let me write a function here rotate with the same name okay and let's register that with uh, video js Okay, the name and the function to be called. That's it. We have created the video.js plugin. That's it. Wait, wait. We need to write the code inside this rotate function. That's the next step. Okay. But this is how you will um, register, register the plugin with video.js, right? You get the idea. Okay, let's set the diamond, dimension as zero. So this is the initial value which is going to have. And we're going to create two buttons. Uh, what are we going to do is we are going to create two buttons and which is going to come after this uh, playback rate, uh, playback rate button. Let's create buttons, button document, sorry, document, a document dot create element button. And let's add the class. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this uh, VJS menu button class. So this is already bundled in VideoJS CSS. So no need to worry about that. After that, I'm going to set the inner HTML as, okay, this is the trickiest part. I mean, not the trickiest part. Uh, I'm going I'm, I'm going to set uh, some HTML entity value. Uh, instead, you can even uh, include some font or some icons or some icons like that. But uh, for, for, for this lesson, I'm going to use like this, like 8635, which is going to give a rotate lift icon. Okay, so let me use that. And next thing is, um, okay, let's see the font size. Okay, 1.8 EM. Right. Okay, we need to create two buttons, right? So let me cut this code and write a new function here create button and paste it inside uh, anything else yeah return the button so instead of this value let's cut this value let's say content maybe 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 icon and okay let's uh, send the value here var rotate lift button create button okay that's it so we have created a left button successfully and now we are going to create a right button instead of this value let's change it to three four okay we have successfully created two buttons and now we are going to write some functionalities to these two buttons function okay the same way we are going to write 
function for the write button as well. Okay, all I'm going to do here is dimension plus equal to 90. That's it. So the next stop is 90. The next stop will be 180, right? 180 to 70 and, and it will become 360 again. Uh, okay, once it reaches 360, uh, okay, I can do like this dimension uh, equal to like uh, modulo equal to 360, which will take care when it reaches 360, right? It will become zero. Uh, again, it will become 90. Okay, that will be uh, that will be enough for that. Now, dimension minus equal to 90. So, ah, uh, here is the tricky part. Now, let's say. Say uh, when it reaches minus 360, okay, minus 360, we'll reset the value. So that's how we are going to handle the situation. So math dot absolute will convert any negative value into positive value. So I'm just comparing it with the, the 360, and say dimension equal to zero. That's it. Okay, what we have done right now is just uh, modified the dimension value. There is not. I mean, we didn't do anything with this zoom rotate. Uh, that plugin okay so let's go back to the code and see what actually goes with this zoom zoom rotate plugin okay we need a player and we need to pass the value like this rotate of the value okay so this is what we are going to do here so player dot zoom rotate now we need to pass the rotation value okay dimension is the value okay right Let's do the same here. Done, right? But wait. Here we mentioned this player. I mean, where is that player here? There are no, no reference for that code, right? So let's add it here. So this is going to come as a parameter, right? Okay. Now we have created two buttons and we wanted uh, it to insert after this playback rate button, right? But we didn't do that. Let's do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually there is a method called insert before, uh, but there is no such method insert after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a simple helper function to do that insert after. Okay, this is going to be a new element. And this is the element in after this element only we are going to insert that particular new element. Okay, so element Give me a minute i'll remove that parent node dot insert before now we need to pass the new element and we need to insert it after the next sibling of the given element okay listen this carefully what we are going to do is we are going to insert this new element before the elements next sibling just think carefully you will get it okay so next sibling Fine. Let's remove this annoying characters. Okay, I think that's done. But uh, we need to write the code, right? Yeah. Okay. We need to insert it after this playback rate, uh, playback rate button, right? So, uh, okay. Let's do that. We need the reference of playback rate button. So that can be done like this: query selector and VJS playback rate. So this will give us the playback rate button. Uh, we need to give, I mean, we need to insert it after playback rate button. Okay. So what I'm going to do is insert after. So let's give the new element rotate left button and the element rotate after, uh, I mean, playback rate. Now the element to be inserted is rotate right button and this should be inserted after left button right hey guys think I mean, listen carefully otherwise you will not get it okay so i think i'm done here um okay let's okay let's try what nothing happened right i know it because we just included this rotate js and we wrote some code here right but we didn't call that uh, particular um, what plugin right so let's call the plugin here player dot rotate is the I mean rotate is the name of your plugin 
and we need to pass the player's reference so it will be like this okay let's copy and paste it here done refresh okay we got the two buttons here and now i'm going to rotate this yes right that's it okay this is how you can create your own uh, video js plugin actually i just gave you the basic idea of creating video js plugin okay you can do a lot with this plugins you can literally modify anything with this uh, video player so just explore it and do whatever you want first of all you just come up with a requirement and work on it and you will get it okay thanks for watching this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up new guys please consider subscribing i'm going to uh, post interesting videos like this thank you stay in touch bye bye